All right, hey everybody, happy Monday. And <laughs> so Jesse actually asked me this question last night. He's like, hey, did Danny did an our stream anniversary pass? And I was like, let me see, we started in like July and I'm like, oh shit, it's August and we're almost in the middle of August. And sure enough, I went back, um, I checked, like I went back as far as I could on the Twitch dashboard so our anniversary was technically july 30th because i forgot twitch only emails you when it's your affiliate anniversary not your stream anniversary so i was checking and it's on july 30th and i'm like whoops so guess guess what we're celebrating today <laughs> so if you guys have any favorite streams or favorite games that we played let me know in chat but i know honestly i have a really bad memory too so i might just change that question because i i feel that i i feel like i have a really bad memory so i don't expect you guys to have a really good memory either so maybe maybe we should change that up <laughs> um let's see but i like your answers that you love all our streams <laughs> that there's so many good ones <laughs> y'all y'all know how to brighten my day two celebrations in one week damn you must you madman yeah i know i know like that's why i was like okay i have to do it before the birthday stream so I was like, well, today, today is as good as any day. So let's just celebrate it today. And Saturday we have the birthday stream. Yeah, I don't expect you guys to have a good memory. So let's change that question. I already had one in mind and I actually changed it. So let's just change it back. Give me a moment here. I'll make it like a bonus question, but anyway. Which is your favorite? Okay. Level up! My butt is really sore. Excuse me? <laughs> I take one minute to look away from chat. <laughs> And all I hear is my butt is really sore. Who was that? I live. Yin. Oh my gosh. Hey, Yin. That was perfect timing. All right. Question of the day is updated. How you doing, sweetie? Welcome in. That was hilarious. Let me see. Let's unpin this. Excuse me. Gunko. What the hell is going on in this clip? SPSSPSSPS. Hey Gunko, how are you doing, cutie? Rafi, you did, you did him. Get a load of it. All right, new question of the day is up. A little bit of Tommy. I went ahead and put it up. I was inspired by Splatoon's last Splatfest this weekend. So let me know, you guys, if you prefer bread, rice, or pasta. I'm team pasta. I love pasta. Um, I didn't get to stream Splatoon this weekend, but that's the team I was repping. Um, let's see. Let me catch up here. Yeah, so lots of things to celebrate this week, you guys. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, Gunkle. Hey, Yin. Let me get you guys some stars here, actually. How y'all doing? Hope everybody had a good weekend and a naughty weekend. If you had a naughty weekend, tell me all about it. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> um, thanks for the for that, by the way. Of course, of course. Bread, carbs, yeah. Literally, this Splatfest was all about carbs. So what's your favorite carb, pretty much? Is it bread, pasta, or rice? And it's funny enough, ri Team Rice was the one that ended up winning. But I'm I'm Team Pasta. I feel like pasta is so versatile. You can put all these different sauces on it. You can put it in a salad. You can make macaroni salad. It, the pasta is so good, so delicious. I could eat pasta all day. I love pasta. 
Um, also team pasta, but any will do. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Gunkle. See, me and Gunkle are vibing. But you know what, Casual? I will take some of your bread, slap some garlic on it, and have it on the side of my pasta. Team bread? Another bread. Oh, wait, what kind of bread, Arcade Bear? Because you might be talking about a different kind of bread. There are other ways to prolapse. Look at all these cuties in these chats. Talking about prolapsing and their butts hurting yeah, the and SPSS. Yeah, S if, if you can take it, you are a better person. <laughs> How you doing, Rav? Uh, hence the cough. <laughs> we are classy ladies here. I don't know what you're talking about. I could eat a peach for hours. Who said that? Um, let's see. So yeah, new question of the day is up. And yes, today we're celebrating our stream anniversary. It's our three year stream anniversary. I know it's on a weekday, so I'm just gonna be um, continuing cadence of Hyrule. We're gonna do a weekend celebration this Saturday, you guys, um, for my birthday. I'm gonna be doing a birthday stream if you guys wanna come and join in for that. Gonna be playing Mario Party, that's the main game. I'm gonna also do Jackbox and possibly Mario Kart if we have time. But Mario Party and Jackbox are the two main games we're gonna be playing. So if you guys wanna join in for that, that's gonna be this Saturday starting at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Let me know if you wanna come in and play some Mario Party and laugh at me as I probably lose. So, <laughs> as I get closer and closer to 40, yay! <laughs> <laughs> the laugh that was perfect timing. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> um, let's see. Hours? Why hours? Wait, what? What kind of hours? What? I mean, why not? Why not eat the peach for hours? How you doing, cutie? FYI, I will be in San Diego next week for work. Oh, oh, you don't say, Gunkle. I think San Diego is about two hours from us, but we should try to plan something. I'd love to hang out. For work. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but we should hang out. DM me. Um, no for reals, bread, cinnamon, raisin, brioche, rye, sourdough. Ooh, you're making me hungry. We had some um, ciabatta bread this morning. I made us little breakfast sandwiches um, from ciabatta bread my bear hey Chris and get further and further away from 10 or 40 damn it <laughs> uh, you love the green screen thank you I've been using it for quite a while now actually so I'm glad you guys are enjoying it um, sometimes I hate my brain it's okay I hate my brain all the time I'm like brain shut up stop thinking Think? Who needs to think? Well, overthink anyway. I will slip into your DMs and see how schedule looks. Yes, yeah, slip right in. That goes for all of you guys. If you ever want to slip into my DMs, you know where to find me. Right? We should all visit Gunkle for work. I know, right? Need a dose of that Gunkle. <laughs> I put all of you to work. Oh no. <laughs> Work, boo. Would you settle for me, sausage? I'd rather have sausage. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I really do enjoy pasta. I love pasta. Great segue there, right? <laughs> and I mean, sausage is great in pasta. Actually, I made that last week. Um, I put some some Italian sausage in my pasta, and that's not an innuendo for anything, you nasties. Uh, but it's a 10 to 12 hour drive for me and I have no car. Boo, you whore. <laughs> Excuses. No, I'm just kidding. I know. I hope you get your car situation settled soon. But yeah, 12 hours, that's that's pretty crazy. I didn't realize it was that far. We, st we both live in California. It's just you live on the other side of California. You know, the side that's not cool, that doesn't have me. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
I was trying not to make it sound so conceited, but you know. Um, I'm like eight hour. It's like eight. Oh, eight hours. Okay, that's a little less. A little less horrible than twelve hours, but I feel you. That's still a long time. Yeah. So, I love teal, and a lot of my stuff is teal, which does not show well on blue, which is currently the green screen or green. Like it, it'll still not show up either way. So. It's just become a kind of running joke where this this is my invisible cup. Um, but I'm having my protein shake. I'm trying to get back uh, into the gym scene. I took a little break for a few weeks because my back was killing me from work. Um, but now that I don't have to worry about that anymore, uh, I'm trying to get back into it. So I'm trying to stay healthy, get some more muscle going. Uh, the closer to the gay Mecca, so... <laughs> yeah, Chris, we should hang out. I'm sorry. We could have probably hanged out last weekend. Um, but yeah, you guys, for those of you who just came in, we are doing a celebration, a couple celebrations this week. Today, celebrating three years, uh, three years stream anniversary. Um, and saturday celebrating my birthday my 38th birthday <laughs> um and i um, gonna be playing some games playing some mario party some jackbox and i'll try to squeeze in mario kart as well so if you guys want to come and game or hang out you're more than welcome to um being near san francisco is so far from san diego it really is um shoot like i've been wanting to go to palm springs again too it's just so dang hot i i guess we're lucky because san diego is not too far we're kind of in the middle here in the inland empire so like everything's about an hour an hour and a half drive away from us like la long beach uh, Palm Springs, San Diego's maybe like more two hours ish, but it's still, you know, within reach. Um, let's see. Let me scoot this a little closer. There we go. All the innuendos, Italian sausage, protein shake. I didn't, you know what? I didn't even think about that with the protein shake. Oh, thank you, Butamus. How's it going? Hey, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm gonna need to ask you. To Officially a daddy? I think I. I'm only trying to murder you. Okay. Giant, um, I have a question for you guys. Giant, Besides the question uh, of the day. Monster. Well, we'll chat right now. Oh, it's a vagina monster. <laughs> All these clips have a certain feel today, I feel like. <laughs> no, you're good. You said, oh, I say plenty of things. I say worse things on stream. So you're good. You're good. Um, what was I gonna? Oh, right. Okay. So what do you guys consider, like, what age do you guys consider someone to be daddy? Or is it more of a, like, not to quote Pedro Pascal, but state of mind? Like, if that person present, presents themselves as daddy, do you think the age doesn't matter? Or, like, do you feel like it is at a certain age? It also depends on who's calling you daddy, because if it's someone in their 20s, everyone's going to be daddy to them. Let's, like, no tea, no shade. I feel like, like, everyone's daddy. Um, if you're a daddy and we're similar in age, and I'm also a daddy. <laughs> there you go. I slid into your DMs. It, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> not not to sound disappointed. I was just like, oh, it's not what I thought it was. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember you were telling me about this website for the avatars, right? It's attitude. Yeah, I think it's attitude. I don't think it's necessarily like um, femme or masks type of thing. I just think it's it's like the way someone carries themselves if they believe they their daddy and they have that daddy energy they like to take care of the boys and you know then i i feel like it doesn't matter what age you are honestly um i think i've long accepted it already though like i i used to cringe when someone called me daddy 
but I think when I got to maybe 36, 37, I was, no, a little earlier than that, I would say like 35, I started being okay with it, and then over time I started like actually enjoying it, so <laughs> I think it is pretty much an attitude thing. Um, I thought you gay died at 32 and gay resurrected at resurrected as a daddy at 40. So what in between 30 and 40, are you just stuck in purgatory? Is that, is that how that works? It's definitely a state of mind. The right younger guy can totally be daddy to me that, you know what? I, that's exactly true. I'm with you. I'm with casual and gunkle right now. I think it's up to the person. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad a lot of you guys agree. I'm old enough to be the father of some of the guys I've slept with. <laughs> and I've slept with their fathers, too. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not a home wrecker. <laughs> um, uh, I think your daddy, because you're sweet and cuddly. Ella. Oh, thank you. Oh. I, I, I feel like I'm daddy and I'm okay with that. It definitely is a turn on, especially when the right person calls me it. I'm like, oh. Uh, characteristically, anyone can be daddy at any age, but I do think it's weird when I've seen guys in their 50s, 60s call themselves cubs in a bear cub relationship. I can see that. I can see. And then there's some guys that I've met in their 50s and 60s that do not like being called daddy at all. And I mean, I respect that, but it, it but I mean, you're okay with being like your your scruff profile says cub at the end and I'm just like honey, I don't think you're a cub anymore. You're you're a bear. If you don't want to be a daddy, that's fine, but you're a bear. Or boy, yeah, you are not a boy. You're a man. Bratitude, yeah, I, I don't know why. I tend to attract quite a few brats. Like my my roommate was quite or ex-roommate was quite a big brat. Um need that decade to mature even though most of us don't. <laughs> yeah, like we say mature, but we're all coming, I mean, come on, come on. I've been in y'all chats, you've been in here. We're, we're so mature. <laughs> uh, I still cringe. I don't feel like I am a daddy. My age says otherwise. I, like, like I said, I used to cringe when someone would call me daddy, but I, I started learning to embrace it. It's like, they're not calling you that to insult you or anything. They're, they're saying you're sexy as fuck and they want to get in your pants and, and then cuddle. So I'm just like, okay. Danny is on early. Yeah, so last week I started coming on early, um, earlier, rather than 3 p.m. I was like, let's try 2 p.m. because when I was morning shift, I felt like I was able to game more. So I'm like, okay, let me counteract that by going on an hour earlier. And I actually enjoyed it. So um, I'm continuing that this week. Though I'm not going to force Jesse to do it, so whenever he streams with me, um, usually on Thursdays, I'll, I'll go on at the regular time unless he's okay with going on earlier. Um, but yeah, as, as far as... Um, well, just going forward, I think I'm going to try to stick to the 2 o'clock thing because it's working for me. And plus I get to game more and spend more time with you guys, so it works out. Uh, am I the right person? Yes, you are, cutie. You already know the answer to that. <laughs> uh, the daddy title doesn't come with some cringes at first. Yeah, but you quickly realize that there are perks. Oh, there's definitely a lot of perks. <laughs> we love bears here. Yes, all the bears. I need... <laughs> Uh, I need perks as oh you read perks as pokes and I was excited for a minute. Well, pokes can be perks, so you're not wrong. I would say poke poking is a perk. <laughs> um, oh Rose, thank you for the poke gift. Oh Rose, I forgot to tell you I finally caught a shiny. Um, I think it was a shiny Wulu. 
But yeah, I was so happy. It was sometime last week. Uh, it doesn't take much to excite you. <laughs> I mean, I'm guilty of that too. Um, I can't help my like my nipples are are always pointing north. Jesse always makes fun of me because he's like, your nipples are hard 24/7, and I'm just like, I can't help it. Okay, they're just always like this, literally. Like I can't take them anywhere. <laughs> Living the universe. I didn't say it was a bad thing. <laughs> this song is too calm. Let me see what else. Let me skip it. What am I in the mood for? I need to get in more, some more Zelda music. That works. All right. I'm just about done with this protein shake, and then we'll get started. So I'm still playing through Cadence of Hyrule. I'm on the final DLC, which we're playing as Skull Kid. I started a little bit of it last week, and it's pretty damn hard. I was doing a little research on it over the weekend. By little, I mean I, I did a quick Google search and that was it. Um, so apparently I could have started it on a file I already had completed. It's just I wouldn't be getting the story, I think. But anyway, they say it's hard if you start from a new game, which I did, because you start with like only three hearts, no gear and no items and all that. So I'm like, that's why that first dungeon was giving me so much damn trouble. Like they were spawning Lynels in literally the first dungeon. Like I was just like, what the hell is this? Oh, catch up. Oh, catch up. Thank you for the resub. Um, let's see. 18 months, they've been subscribed for 22 months. Ketchup, thank you so much for the support. How you doing, Ketchup? Let me get you a super hug here. You don't just get regular bear hugs. No, Ketchup, you get super bear hugs. Arr, big old bear hugs. Thank you, Ketchup. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. How you doing? Hope uh, work was good today. I was like, it's Monday, right? Yeah. Cause it's it's weird for me sometimes you guys because Sundays are my Mondays. So sometimes it confuses me. Can I not take it? Where's the app? <laughs> you blame your sign for everything. <laughs> There's this new game I've been playing called Elden Lilies. It's killing? so cute and a little hard. You should definitely check it out. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, Love send me like a trailer or something. Like this is the right way to deal with your failures. I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> eat that peach. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Now I have that song stuck in my head and I have to get rid of it. This is the only way. Peaches, 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 the students start again on Wednesday. Oh, okay, so you've been prepping for them this whole time. Gotcha, okay. I'm glad you're excited for the students to come back though. It's funny because you're giving off different energy than some of my teacher friends that I have on social media because I see their Instagram stories and they're putting up, oh, these rotten ass kids are coming back tomorrow or something like that. And so it's completely 180 in the energy that you're giving ketchup, but I'm glad you're giving more positive energy. <laughs> I'm glad that made you laugh. Yeah, we've got all the cuties in chat. Like, hey, what y'all doing in here? Me as a teacher? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I would give that same energy to. All right, I don't want this cup to get all sticky and have the stuff stick to it. I'm just gonna put it in the sink, fill it with water. Stay tuned. Yeah, you guys. 
Plus, I don't want the hubby yelling at me when he gets home, being like, you're leaving dirty dishes. And... Yeah. Uh, this summer, though, this summer is... Does anyone else feel like the summer heat makes them tired? Like, I got plenty of sleep, but this damn heat is getting to me. I might just turn on the AC right now. I like my job definitely not doing this for the big bucks. Yeah, teachers definitely need more appreciation, I feel like. Especially from the parents. I feel like the parents give the teachers such a hard damn time sometimes. My brain read, read that as not doing this for the big dicks. <laughs> You're always tired? Okay. Okay, because, all right. So I was feeling this for a long time and I didn't know why. And I felt kind of like, this is when my anxiety was really bad or worse anyway. So I would always feel tired all the time and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like maybe my vitamins or vitamin deficiency or just like the night shift or what. But does anyone feel like, Okay, can anyone else confirm this? Like, do you feel like at a certain age, you're just always tired? Like, no matter how much sleep you get, no matter how healthy you are, you just feel like you're always tired. And, you know, just like some days, you're just less tired than other days. Also, I just realized we're about to start in an ad. Yeah, I was going to say we're just getting older. I think, I think that's what it is. Yeah. And I always used to feel alone about that, but it's like when I started reading up and like hearing other people say the same thing and I'm like, oh, maybe it's just everybody. Absolutely. And you get migraines. Ooh, that's not fun. After 25 for sure. <laughs> what are ads? Yeah, exactly, Ruin. <laughs> what are ads? I did change the question of the day. So now let me know what's your favorite bread, rice, or... Uh, pasta though we have been kind of going off on a tangent and talking about other stuff mostly the naughty stuff which is always fun i swear we always end up either talking about sex or food can we just talking about f having food while having sex can that be a thing i mean that's fun too what who said that Keto says, no bread, rice, or pasta for me. Oh, that's true, Ruin. <laughs> well, you can have keto bread, can't you? Because I remember when I tried keto, there, I saw some bread recipes. They weren't great. I think it was like coconut flour or something. So, I mean, there's that. And I think you can have brown rice, right? So, my fave from those is rice. Don't tell my Italian family. Oh, wait. I didn't know you were Italian. Ooh. <laughs> but also, wow. Like, yeah, don't don't tell the Italian family. They will, they will get angry. Very angry. You're like, really? Right in front of my pasta sauce? Wow. Suffering through an ad, but glad it's for support. Yeah, just hang in there, you guys. I try to have these ads playing every 30 minutes. That way... When someone new comes in, they don't get bombarded by an ad smack in their face. Or someone comes in with a raid, they don't get bombarded right away. Um, but I like most types of pasta and fresh bread. Is mm, I haven't been to Panera in a long time, but I love fresh bread. Especially from the bakery. Yum yum. But pasta is my number one for sure. All right, you guys, since ads over, I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and get started here on the game. All righty, let's listen to some nice Hyrule tunes. Twitch Turbo is getting is a great solution if you don't want to sub to tons of channels, no ads, and the streamers still get the revenue share. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a good tip too, you guys. Like if you if you tend to watch a bunch of streamers, but you can't necessarily sub to everybody, which I totally understand. You can try the, um you can try that uh, the Twitch Turbo, and they still we still get some revenue from that when you guys are in chat. Um, like a lot of pasta and rice, but it doesn't like me. Sometimes I feel that rose, especially with my acid reflux. I had like two slices of pizza with marinara sauce this weekend. The, today I was feeling it. 
So I'm like, okay, I'll stick to the Alfredo. I had an Alfredo pizza, which was delicious. It was Alfredo chicken. Welcome back, Chris. My body is the one that is picky, same. I'm, I'm not picky, my body is. So today is my sister's B-Day. I got her Smash Ultimate. Ooh, that's an awesome gift. I love Smash Ultimate. Well, happy birthday to your sister, by the way. Um, that was nice of you, though, to get her Smash. Does that mean we can we can play Smash Brothers too? <laughs> um, tomato sauce is a big one for yeah. Tomato sauce is a big one for my acid reflux too. Tomato sauce and spicy food, unfortunately, and I love both of those things. They just sometimes don't love me back. Um, is the game too loud, you guys? It sounds a little loud. Let me bring it down to nine, negative nine. As much as I really love the music, I want you guys to hear me too. I have to order light on the sauce and I take Prilo Pilosec, Prilosec every night. You can't hear it at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? I take, do, 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 do. Oh man, this is gonna be stuck in my head now. Uh, Phantom Dun I don't think I've tried that one. At night and, uh, Protonics in the morning. Okay. Oh, okay, you had 14 music on the other monitor. Gotcha. Uh, looks like you're using Elder Moo. Try using... Oh, right. Yeah, D-pad's better. Um, okay, so... Let's look at the map. So this map's a lot smaller than the main game's map, but I feel like this mode is definitely harder. So we're looking for two dungeons, and I haven't fully explored everything yet. Looking for Gerudo, Desert, and I think, I think Guan Mountain or Tall Tall Heights. It's one of those two. Something tells me let's explore the cliffs more, and I'll find a dungeon there. Again, the map's always randomly generated, so I can't exactly look this stuff up. But I'm going to guess it's in these two corners, because that's the only bit of this map I have not explored yet. Alright, what's the closest I can get to here, teleporting-wise? Really, that's... Okay, I guess I'm in the closest one. Um... Oh, it's Pepsid. Okay, Pepsid's what I take. Yeah. I usually take Pepsid like an hour, maybe 30 minutes before I know I'm going to have something that usually upsets my stomach. Excuse me. And then I also... <laughs> yeah, see, that was my stomach. I threw some ginger into my smoothie. That usually settles my stomach pretty well. Some frozen ginger pieces. There's a hard piece. I kind of want it. Oh, I couldn't figure out how to get this one. I remember. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get this heart piece. Eh, I'll do this later. Because I remember last time I tried figuring it out and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, the only reason I take a pill at night is because I get indigestion. I feel that. It sucks when you're trying to sleep and you have indigestion or heartburn. Had an adjustable bed frame to help with it, but can only do so much. Yeah, and I have one of those angle, the, the pillows that are at an angle, because they say that if you have, like, bad heartburn problems to, like, elevate your head while you're sleeping or laying down. Um, it's just kind of uncomfortable for me sometimes, so I'm not using it currently, but I do have it for when it's acting up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba 
Ow, damn it. It still hit me. Okay, Maudlin, you can get away from me now. I don't like you. <laughs> it sucks. Yuna doesn't like it. And I mean, if the High Summoner doesn't like it, then, you know, it's, it's a pretty shit plan. All right, that's all the enemies there. Oh, thank you for the Poke Gift, Rose. Let me see if I could do one too. Let's get some Poke Gifts going. Whoops. If I could spell. I don't have a present. Well, that's unfortunate, but thank you, Rose. I know, I know. My fingers. I swear I type really fast and accurate, but like when I'm on stream, all that goes away. I don't know why, my fingers just act stupid when I'm streaming. Skull Kid, you must traverse Death Mountain and defeat the entity that resides in the temple up ahead. Use the power of the Skull Mask to keep yourself safe. I hear a voice. Is that you, Grandfather? Or is it something else? Alright, made it to Death Mountain. Oh, and, and the boulders are, are trying to smash me. Okay, just because it's called Death Mountain just doesn't mean everything has to try to kill me, you know? Okay, three hearts. Thank you. Come on, Tech Tight. I don't want to deal with you. Oh, the tempo went up. Okay, why are all these boulders flying towards my face? I don't... No. What Pokemon is that? It's a Swellow. Speaking of boulders. Swallow. Swellow. There was a joke in there somewhere, but I failed at it. Okay, I don't know how that tech tight died, but I'll take it. Alright. Yep, the statues are coming after me now. Wizro, you bastard. I'm gonna poke you with a stick. That's how you deal with the wizard, you guys. You just poke him with a stick. He doesn't know what to do. Why am I stuck here? Great. What the hell is that? Okay, this is very much looking like I'm getting close to a temple. Can I interact with this? It's not. Um, refresh your Pokemon sprite. It's Elumis. Oh, you know what? I noticed it was doing that. Like, it, it does it every now and then, but then it fixes itself. Or it just does it every now and then. Let me check if I have Illumise then. I do, cool. Good job, bros. <clears throat> After refresh it almost every stream now. Ah, so it's acting up. Um, It's a separate app. I don't know how I would refresh it. I guess if I close it and open it. We'll see if it fixes itself for the next Pokemon. Alright. The statues are being rude and sticking their tongues out. Okay, this looks like a temple for sure. Who is that? Hey, Lefty! Um, I think I have the kinky dog collar. You need to try this? I think you would like this, Lefty. If you don't mind yes, rhythm games, I, th I think you could enjoy it. Like, this, the artwork is so good. Hey, Dagon! 
Sexy Ginger, all the sexies are coming I mean, in the chat true. today. That's what it is. <laughs> you love the original game? Oh, the um, Crypt of the Necromancer? Yeah, I would definitely recommend this game. It definitely is challenging, but once you get the hang of it, especially if you played the original, I think you'll be fine. I'm doing the DLC right now. Oh, there's a bee. So I'm playing as Skull Kid. And this is the final DLC. Intruder detected. Initiating dungeon sequence. Confiscating intruder's items. What the fuck? Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Done. Welcome, intruder. If you want your pointy sticks back, then you will have to escape our maze. Your probability of success is 0.02842%. Good luck. <laughs> Why is the robot laughing at me? And why to take all my things? Oh, this is not cool, you guys. This is not cool. It took all my gear. Well, I'm fucked. I'll be back! <laughs> oh my god, the Sheikah Stone is a jukebox. It sure is. <laughs> and the Sheikah robot is being a jerk to me. Only kill digital bees. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to kill real life bees. All right, let, let's consult the magic pair. Will I make it... Will Danny make it through this dungeon... If he could spell. Without dying. Bear Pair Gaming asks the magic pair, will Danny make it through this dungeon without dying? <laughs> She would troll me. She would. Alright, here we go. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Dude, I have no gear. I literally only have the skulls mask, which is, you know, one of the better ones that I have. But he took all my gear. Alright, let's just go up, I guess. Balls. Okay, this looks like a puzzle. Oh, is this gonna be a puzzle-based trial? Cause if so, okay, I can I can deal with that, especially if I don't have gear. But of course, you're gonna work my brain right now, game. Um, shoot. Okay, obviously it looks like I have to get it on there, which it seems like I already failed. Okay, I think I see what to do, actually. So let me reset this. This doesn't look too bad. So, let's see. Let's move you right. Move you up. Bam. And then... Um, let's move you left. Move you down. Move you right. Move you up. Move you left. There we go. Okay. See? I'm not that helpless. Thanks for the lurk though, Lefty. Uh, let's see. Okay, can't go that way. Wind's blowing. I don't know what that switch is going to do, but it doesn't look like it's going to do something good. Oh, of course. What? Why'd they just disappear? I'm confused. Do I only have a certain amount of time to kill them? Okay, the ones I killed don't stay dead. I'm, I'm very confused. Ooh, 
not sure what they want me to do here. Okay, I can't just stay on it. And I can't get back on it. What does this thing I pick up picked up do? Okay, I don't have it in my inventory. There we go. Uh, scroll of enchant armor. Temporarily increases your armor rating. Mm, that's not going to help me here. I'm not sure what they want me to do. I don't have like a group attack or something. Yeah, see if I step back on the switch, they disappear. Lurk time hugs. It's already that time? Oh, it sure is. Okay. Let me make sure I'm on my lurks too. Thanks for the lurk though, casual hugs. Big hugs. Alright. Got me too. Alright. See if I can figure this thing out. Maybe I need to find something. Break seal. Hmm. Oh, I can switch masks. Interesting. Okay. Does one of these masks have an ability I can take advantage of? Let's see. Attacks with a head bonk. Oh, I think these are the... Let's see. Hmm, this might work. Okay, so if I even perform an action, they'll disappear. Yeah, see, that's weird. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, now I'm taking damage. Yeah, they just come back. I'm not sure. Alright, uh, maybe I should go a different way. up here oh boy okay <clears throat> do I have to kill all of them Poor lizards. No, I can't reach this one now. Okay, got it. Jesus, all that ice just went bye bye in one hit. Okay, another one of these rooms. And unfortunately, now I have one heart. I really don't understand what they want me to do with these.
Okay, another boulder puzzle. Trying to figure this out. Oh, I think I got it, actually. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, like I thought I had it. Because yeah, it has to stop there. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I could do it. Okay, so it's saying a wild slowpoke, but now it's showing Illumise. Yeah, I think I have to restart this thing. Let me see if I close it and restart it. Where are you? I mean, it's like casual said. Let's see. I should be able to refresh. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Let's see. There. Okay, there we go. It refreshed. So now it's properly showing slowpoke. All right. So where was I? Um. Okay. So. I think I know how to do this, so let's put this one down here. Get you on this side. Ah, oh, why did it push it? No, that's not what I wanted. And it escaped. Um, hmm. Okay, so if they're all together like that, one's gonna get pushed either way. Okay. No one told me there were gonna be pop quizzes today. Damn it. I wasn't ready for this. Uh, hmm. Stay tuned. Oh, it's already almost time for an ad. Okay, so... That gets pushed either way. Maybe that will work. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Yin. Ah, 
power of panda, maybe I'll do it. Um. Okay, I think I got it. Huzzah! 50 rupees for my trouble. Now my question is, I'm on the brink of death. If I die, do I have to do all this stuff again? I hope not. <laughs> um, is this floor going to crumble? Because it very much looks like it's going to crumble. I've only got one heart. Oh, it is so crumbling. That's evil. That is very evil. How am I even supposed to make it? Because there's that arrow that's going to push me back once I get over there. What the hell, game? I don't have enough hearts to keep trying this. Literally, if I fall again, I'm dead. Did you have a nice fall? No, I did not, unfortunately. Skull Kid is trying to dance the pain away. Um. I need hearts. Did I mention this game's not very forgiving? Well, okay. Uh, there's they're gonna keep coming apparently. Okay, they're they're coming. Son of a bitch. Uh, what's this? Heal from kills. Uh, will I even be able to take any of this stuff? No. If I learned anything from the last playthrough is don't spend my diamonds. I'm gonna need those later. Okay, so they did save my progress, thankfully. Yay, I get my 50 rupees back. So what am I supposed to do here? If I miss the beat twice, I'm dead. I think I have to get onto the spaces where the slimes are. Because it doesn't look like that part will crumble. <clears throat> okay. But I don't, well, now it's dead. Okay, does the floor come back at all? <laughs> Good. Good. Just Zelda's deadpan good is just always on point. Hey Shadow. Ah man. Not sure what they want from me here. Wait, can I actually teleport back to any room I want? No. no. I was about to say. Okay, um... Too slow. This is... This is annoying. And evil. Yeah, I would think maybe the floor would reset when I hit that button, but it doesn't. This is evil. I might legit have to look this dungeon up. Hmm. Alright, ad's over. Welcome in. Welcome back. <clears throat> Alright, can't miss a beat. I always get to that part and I miss the beat for some damn reason. Hey Shadow! 
fave bread has to be rainbow fave rice. Wait, what? Rainbow? rainbow? There's a rainbow bread? Jasmine rice or sticky rice, jelly donuts, Ed Faye pasta, any of those. Shit ton of cheese involved. <laughs> well, I meant which is your fave, like pasta, rice, or bread. But I mean, if you like all three, then that's fine too. <clears throat> Why can I only get to that part? <clears throat> My rhythm is off. I had a good rhythm going and then it just... Why are they giving me arrows? I don't even have a bow. That's evil. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed that. Usually your shadow... Usually uh, shadow your usernames in pink, but now it's showing in purple. I kind of live. Yeah, I will send you what rainbow bread is. Ooh, yes, please do. It sounds fabulous. Okay, for some reason I can only get that far and then I fall. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's me or I'm missing something. This dungeon is pure evil already. Not sure what they want me to do here. Okay, there's these circles here. I wonder if I've maybe I kill an enemy on one of them. Okay, I turned yellow when I stepped on it. There's no way I would have to get three of the enemies to step on. No, how would that even work? What? How did I kill all of them in one hit? Okay, is it the power of electricity? I'm, I'm confused on what's going on. I think they actually want me to... Yeah, that's crazy if that's true. They're not glowing when they step on it. This is weird. Damn it. I'm so confused. <laughs> Feel the beat, Danny Bear. I'm trying to feel the beat, but the beat's not feeling me. I changed my name color because there is a streamer I was following who was having issue telling one person from the other because they were red, green, color blend. I feel that. That happens to me sometimes. Not a lot of people in chat was pink, so I was being nice and changed it to purple. Okay, that works. Actually, I feel like it goes a lot better with your name, actually. All right, well, this dungeon has me stumped so far. The, I, I've made it through some rooms, but there's just some rooms like this one that I just don't know how to progress at all. DM me the bread. Ooh, let's check it out. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at this rainbow bread. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. 
There you go. That's so pretty. You can't see the blue part because of my blue screen, but yeah. That's fabulous. It's kind of like a rainbow cake. Yeah, post it on the Discord, please. I'm sure everybody would like to take a look at it. So I will say I do notice that the switch gets electrically charged when I step on it. So maybe I'll have that same effect where if I touch enemies that are close to each other, they'll all die. The thing is, how do I get them to come closer to me? Okay, that sort of worked. All I did was play my loot. No. So any action I do will draw them closer. Yeah, I don't know. Do I just have to follow the beat? Yeah, you can't you can't miss a beat whatsoever. That's what they want you to do. You can't miss a single damn beat. Okay, I get it. So every puzzle like that is going to be beat based and that probably goes with the floor that I kept falling in. Thank you. All right, this is I can see why this DLC is hard because they're they're testing you with the beats. Shocking, ain't it? Sure is. All right. Right, I can't swim. Party. Um Okay, I I can't go forward here. Um, hello, what's his name? Also, does he have bombs and an ice cream cone? That's adorable. And what's that brown potion? I have many questions. Why are you so buff? Bomb cones for sale. Get your bomb cones here. Do you wanna do you want explosive bombs in a ice cream form? Also Roselia. I don't have a Roselia. Let's try to fix that. Uh, big bomb bag. Okay, that's what that is. I thought it was a brown potion for some reason. Bra a bomb bag makes more sense. I don't have that many rupees. Um, shoot. I only have 50 rupees. I guess I'll just buy three bombs. Yay. Okay, I can take these stairs. There's the regular merchant. Float across gaps. That might be helpful. I don't have enough. 400 rupees? Do they expect this poor little skull kid to be this rich? 400 rupees. Why not? Sounds like an explosion of flavor. Oh lord. That pun. That pun is punning. And yeah, I caught the Roselia. Okay. I made it into another one of these rooms. Oh boy, okay. I dropped the bee, really? I'm dropping it. <coughs> Dang it. And I can't, it looks like I can't linger with my actions either. Ah, oh, almost had it. Almost had it. Dang it. Oh shoot. I okay, I can't get touched again. Oh, 
Oh, so close. I'll be back. So close. Thanks for the lurk. Be right back. All right. <laughs> You're humorous today. <laughs> Ah oh, man, this is tough. Got it. Phew. Finally, I'm getting somewhere. I got a key. I think I remember seeing a locked door somewhere, so I just gotta backtrack now. Let's see, I can't go forward anywhere around here. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get across there. I don't have anything that makes blocks yet. Okay, I came from there. Did I take these stairs? Um, I don't think I want to do that just yet. I might, if I die, I lose this key. I don't want that to happen. I remember seeing a locked door around somewhere. Haven't done this room. I don't think it was this far back. At least I think I saw a locked door. Wait, I did this one. Why? No. At least I thought I did. Unless it's a different room. Oh, you jerk. Okay, I got a bow. So it was a different room. Cool. Okay. I'm back, 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 back again. Welcome back. I just got the bow. Scroll of need gives you what you need most. Use only once. I mean, I need hearts, so hopefully it gives me hearts. Oh, thank you, fairy. Oh, I love that. Okay. I love the scroll of need. I'm always in need of something. That was bad. What was bad? Alright, so I got a bow and arrow now. Why are there counters next to them? Interesting. Three, two, one. Huh? Okay. I'm confused. I don't see an end to them anytime soon. I feel like they're just gonna keep coming. So it's just counting down for when they... Oh, okay, maybe I have to kill all of them at the same time or something? Yep, yeah, so... Pretty much didn't, couldn't have any of them out on the field from the looks of it. 50 rupees, nice. Haven't been to, oh. Um, do not get the triple berry frosty from Wendy's. I was thinking of actually trying it. I saw it advertised. Haven't been to Wendy's in years. Used to love their spicy nugs. Yeah, their spicy nuggets are good. Um, okay, so if it's as bad as the pumpkin spice frosty, then Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try it. It seems like any Frosties besides their chocolate and vanilla are very miss. 
It's worse? Oh no, how could it be worse than that one? It tastes literally tasted like a candle. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll trust you and I probably won't get it. Like, I was thinking about it, but... I haven't tried their strawberry one. I heard that one, like, isn't... It, like, people actually kind of like that one sometimes. Um, I still haven't figured out these rooms. Okay, it's just gonna keep respawning. Wait, did I just turn one of those on? Because I think it was also... Let me see. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to fill it in or something? I could just get a spider to stand there. Skipping it, damn it. Come on, step on this thing. Okay, I, I kind of don't get this puzzle. Maybe I should look this one up. Uh, let's see. I love pumpkin spice, but I don't trust Wendy's with it. Yeah, so I love pumpkin spice too, and I usually love everything like pumpkin flavor that restaurants offer. But I literally tried the Wendy's pumpkin spice frosty last year, and it literally like, you know how a Bath and Body Works pumpkin spice candle smells? It literally tasted like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it tasted like you bit into one of those candles. And I was just like, nope, thank you. Best way to say it tastes like the very flavored thing that the dirty, um, that the dentist used to clean your teeth with. Oh no, that does not sound appetizing at all. Um, I'm gonna look up how to do this puzzle because I do not understand what they want me to do. So, Symphony of the Mask Dungeons. Let's see. Temple of Brainstorms. I think that's where I'm at. So I'm technically on the second dungeon. I haven't done the first one. I mean, I guess you could do them in order, any order. Okay, let me see if I can look up info on how to do this one. It's definitely living up to its name, the Temple of Brainstorms. Um, Cadence of Hyrule, Temple of Brainstorms, Puzzle Solutions. seem to find anything specific but so maybe I'll watch a video
Ooh, it's getting hot. I think I'm going to turn on the AC, you guys. Got to boop off, take care, and have fun. All right, Chattel. Oh, they have a mod already. Yay! <laughs> then you can stay here. Can go. Let me turn on the AC real quick. It's getting hot. Okay, so I didn't even know Jesse was home. So, oh, a Pokemon. Ooh, Ducklet. So, the Supercell, thank you for the follow, and you got Jesse's rare follow alert. Let me get you a bear hug here. Here's a big old bear hug for you. Welcome in. Roar! So you guys, Jesse's home. I, I guess I didn't hear when he got home. Ducklet is a Quaxly. Wait, what? A Quaxly at home? <laughs> so Jesse just got home. Well, I actually, I think he's been home because I didn't even hear anything. And he told me he might get me something like a present. And he told me he might not be able to hide it, so he's just going to show it to me. And I, I didn't think too much about it. I was like, okay, sure. Like, you know, because, you know, birthday is coming up. And literally, he's like, do you have a minute? And I'm like, uh, sure, okay. Um, I didn't say I was leaving, but yeah, what's up? Um, do you feel a little bit of gummy lacking? I, I sure do. Um, you know, like when dad says we have McDonald's at home. Oh, <laughs> we have to, we have duck. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> we have frozen chicken nuggets at home. Um, Jesse got me a new TV. So my TV's old. I, I like, I have one, a very old flat screen TV. It's not even a smart TV. He got me a 4K TV, a 50 inch. I'm like, Jesse, what the fuck? You can't just show up with that. Like, like what the fuck? So I know what I'm doing tonight. Yeah, I'm so hyped. Like now my PlayStation games will actually be in 4K. Like, oh my God. Thanksies, I'm Sal. I heard your name from my bestie Yin. Oh, Yin, okay. And since he is very awesome and I trust his judgment, I waited for the moment you got live to check you out. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Welcome in. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Yin was actually in here a little earlier. I don't know if he, if they're still here, but welcome in. You're more than welcome to be here and glad to have you here. Um, yeah, like. Sorry, I'm just a little, like, I did not expect him to buy me a whole ass TV, like, because he, like, I just, oh my god, <laughs> I just, I don't know, just, <laughs> it's, it's been a little tough lately, you guys, and I just, like, he didn't have to do that, like, 
I purposely didn't want to do like go anywhere big for my birthday because I was trying to save money. So he didn't have to do that. Like, I, I, oh, I want to, I want to choke him and hug him at the same time. I love that man. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all emotional there. This is the gold, old golden moment for the Triumph Force. Yeah, give me, give me the Triumph Force. Thanks, Ketchup. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm all flabbergasted. Too damn late? Oh, boo. And it looks like we do have an ad in a few seconds, you guys. Alright. Um, let me try to figure out how I'm supposed to do this puzzle real quick. Let me see if I can watch a quick video while you guys are in the ads. Um, for those of you who aren't subscribed anyway. You already redeemed it? When? I didn't get a notification. Was it while I was away? Oh, it must have been when I was away. Okay. I'll do that now then. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> yeah, it looks like when I was away. Alright, let's, let's do hydrate. Let's do a stretch while I watch this. Okay, so I already figured how to do that. Hmm. Here we go. Trying to see how he does this puzzle. <clears throat> More stretchies. All right, ads about to start. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed that. How did he activate the little electric thing? One sec, guys. So do you just keep killing enemies in that square? I think... Oh, okay. I think that's what it is. Literally just keep killing enemies that land in that square, it looks like. Okay. I'll try that. Uh, I'm in Rick's community, and I get to see we got some mutuals in here. So glad to see that. Ooh, we do have some mutuals. That's good to know. All right. Crack the back. I'll have the gummy bears when the ad comes or the ad ends. He wanted to be evil for a minute. Okay, so it looks like I gotta get them onto that square. Okay, that's two. Trying to get them on this square here. That's three. Four. Five. I don't know how many I'm supposed to kill on there. Okay, I've killed plenty of on there right now, I feel like. It should have it should have activated. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Unless I kill enemies while I'm standing on it and after a certain amount. I feel like I've killed plenty on there already. All right, welcome back. Sorry about that, you guys. I know we were in an ad, um, but it's good to know that we have quite a few mutuals, Sal. Uh, let me have those gummy bears now. I did the stretch, I did the hydrate. Let's do the gummy bears. 
It's weird that you have to kill more than one on there. It's like a Zelda CDI puzzle solution. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it. Um, I got pear and cherry. By the way, I do recommend getting the... Cinnabon pull aparts. Ooh. It resets every beat? Oh fuck, do I have to do it on the beat? Do I really have to do all this shit on the beat? Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this dungeon then. That's a that's quite a lot. Okay, maybe I can find some better video. Uh, I hear it go bean when you miss the beat. Ah, okay, you might be right then. Cadence of Hyrule, Temple of Brainstorms, Electric Puzzle. Okay, I think I found a Reddit post. You need to lure those enemies onto the circles connected to the lines of electricity on the ground, then attack them while standing on those lines of electricity to damage the enemy with electricity, which will cause a reaction visible in the circle. Okay. Okay, so I think I get it because I did see this in the video, but I wasn't sure about how it worked. So I have to lure an enemy onto the circle, but I also have to be standing on one of the electric wires to have the electricity conduct and it'll fill up that circle. So let's see. Ow. Ah, that was my chance. Got it. Okay, so it's not that hard, actually. I did the hard part is getting the enemy to be where you want it to be. damn circle they have a pattern that I'm trying to figure out So they hop diagonally for sure. Oh, that one's on there. Get rid of you. Ah, oh, dude, no. Ah, okay. At least I know what to do now. It's still pretty hard though. Um, uh, bag need to get another fork because I have saucy nugs as well. Ooh, saucy nugs. I haven't tried their saucy nugs. Recommend as well? Okay, you're you're making me want some Wendy's. I might get some this week. I usually get their $5 grab bags. I think they still have those. It's a good deal. And the way the the prices are for fast food these days you guys like it, it's pretty crazy so try to I try, I try to save money whenever we can 
That's why I was like, why did my boyfriend buy me a whole damn TV? Like, ugh. <laughs> I still can't believe that burr. Okay, back in this room. Oh, they... Okay, I kept my key. That's good, actually. Um... I'm pretty sure I have to follow the beat. I guess let's try this since I'm here. I seem to always fall on that part. I don't know why. Okay, so anytime I stop to attack that slime enemy, I just automatically fall, it looks like. I can't stop and attack it. I see what's going on. So, because I'm using the skull mask, he automatically attacks anything that's two spaces away from him. So, let me switch masks. Yeah, that's what was happening. Unfortunately, I still am not sure what I'm supposed to do there because once I make it to the end, I get pushed back. Okay, so I mean, now I'm here, but now I'm stuck. What if I hide? Will they respawn? Nope. Hmm. Can't jump diagonally, so that's a no. They gave me arrows. Maybe that's a clue. Okay, so let me see if I killing these will do anything. Oh, I can move normally now. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Um, let's see, Probo Pass. Are the floor is gonna still fall? Yeah. There we go. Okay, got it. Fairy fountain. I need fairies. Okay, you two stay there if I need you. Uh, okay, getting some tougher enemies. Drop that fork, mister. Okay, they're gonna keep respawning. I have to kill both of them around the same time. Okay, I got instant death for it that time. Yeah, I have three seconds to kill the other one before the other one spawns. Got it. Two diamonds. Bombs, okay. Very good job, I love that, thank you. <laughs> it seems like we all love puns, I need like a pun sound command or something. I don't know when I got one, but meh. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to get from Wendy's? Like, I, for, for sure I agree with the nuggets, the spicy nuggets too. Um, I love their chili, so I get like their chili cheese fries. I like the Baconator. The chicken sandwich is good too. Okay, so it's one of those rooms. Same, their chili is nice. Yeah, I really enjoy their chili. Does anyone ever get a baked potato sometimes? Like, I know it's a weird option, but sometimes I actually get it just because it's, it's, uh, it's an option and I'm like, okay, it's something different from fries. Oh wow, that's a lot of goblins. Or mob. Bakobins, moblins. Um. Okay, maybe a different mask. Let's see, let's try this. Damn it. How am I missing the beat?
Okay, I got a trophy of some sorts. Got it! Ooh, I thought I dropped it too. Phew! Scroll of confusion. I'm very much confused. Baked potato. The, yes, baked potato. Especially with some bacon. They had the bourbon burger thing once and it was a dub bomb. I think I remember that one. Yeah. Seven for time. <laughs> What does that mean, seven fourth time? Because I, I know I saw the trophy pop up. I'm like, am I missing something here? Uh, let's do the dark net mask again. Ow, really? Okay, why am I getting hit so much? Try the skull mask, I guess. It's a time signature. Not sure what it means here. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. I knew it had something to do with time. Oh, yeah, you guys. I almost forgot about that. So, Jesse was telling me earlier, but I saw Daniel posted it as well. Unfortunately, today, the voice actress who played um, Misty and Jesse in the Pokemon anime passed away today. I don't know if you guys heard about that. It's the time signature from hell. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, so unless you're a musician, you probably knew what it meant. And I actually didn't know Misty and Jesse had the same voice actress until now. And I'm like, you know what? Their voices do sound kind of similar. Yeah, it made me sad too, because I loved, I loved her work. She did really good voice work. Um, okay, let's try this again. Ah, oh, jerks. Dang it. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tough. Especially when they're all facing different directions. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, just gotta go through here again. Let's just kill the slimes first. Making progress. Oh, <laughs> making progress and then I fall. Ugh, okay. Just take my time on that part then. Okay. I'll see if save the fairies for later. Hey, how's it going? Hey King, how you doing? Sorry, let me close these tabs. I don't think I need them anymore. Okay, now that I've kind of had the gist of these puzzles. And for those of you who haven't answered or if you'd like to, uh, question of the day is up. Let me know if you prefer bread, pasta, or rice. Which one are you more of a fan of? All right, so I think I went left last time. Yes, I haven't done this room. Oh boy, how am I supposed to kill them that fast? Ow. Interesting. Does a bomb instantly kill them? Okay, so it does. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage. 
Man, this dungeon is not gonna be easy. Uh, I do know one more time signature that is way worse than 7-4. Is it 6-9? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's 6-9. I love that though. Um, hmm. Is there a scroll of just kill everything on the screen? Because I kind of need that. 10-8? What does 10-8 mean? Not sure what they want. Oh wait, I have an idea maybe. I wonder if this will work. Okay, that kind of worked. Maybe if I can cheese that somehow. They disappear though. Dang it. And the, I noticed the bomb switches disappeared too. Got it. Thank you, Deku Mask. Huh. So I can go up or I can go, I can't cross that, but there's a teleport stone there. This. Um, if I can push that up, I can cross. Ten beats uh, per measure and an eighth note get one beat. Ten beats per measure and an eighth note gets one beat. That sounds horrid. to like pull this up somehow I probably don't have the right items for this yet maybe like since I found the bow and arrow maybe I'll find another item in here yeah unfortunately I can't push it anymore okay let's come back here after I'll go up I don't have a shovel, but I don't know if it would... Okay, I'm guessing I'm supposed to get the the rod of Samaria, Samaria, Samantha, that gives me a block somewhere. Uh, it is, most call it the two steps from hell. Ooh, it sounds that bad. Okay, made it to her. <gasps> a bottle! Do I- Oh, come on, I only need 30 rupees, I want the bottle! Welcome, Fate's Chosen One. I've been expecting you. Would you like me to read your fortune for 10 rupees? Girl, I only have 50 and I want that bottle, so no. I need more rupees. Ma'am, can you give me a discount? Can I get it on layaway? I'll pay you. Tuesday. Ma'am, I want that bottle. I need the bottle. I'll break your plant. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll murder your plant if you don't give me the bottle. There. I, oh, I got a rupee from her plant. <laughs> well, um, only 29 more rupees to go. <laughs> Robbery, right? She stashed that rupee there. <laughs> Okay, I, I I have a key. I might be able to open that. Again, I feel like I'm missing an item that I need to get across this. Yeah. Like if I had a hook shot or something. I'm sure her telling my future might help, but I don't want to pay her 10 rupees right now. Um, let's wear 
Oh, these snakies are fast. Okay, snakes, I need you to stop. Chill. Ch snakes, chill, please. Also, they chase you if you get in their line of sight. Damn you, snake. I am tired of these mother effing snakes on this mother effing temple. It ain't robbery if she ain't shopping, ya. Yeah. Snake friends! <laughs> All right, so I automatically get 50 rupees from that. Uh, was there another chest I opened that had rupees as well? So if I just grab that, I can buy that bottle. Okay, I never did this puzzle. Now that I know what to do. Okay, there's one charge. Two charges. Three charges. Please be rupees. Bomb choose, okay, whatever. Well, I guess I could use my key here. Ah! So that's how I get on the other- The hook shot, yes! Oh, cause the purple chests are items, gotcha. That'll help. Okay, and I remember I've been on the other side of that part of the map. It's all coming together a little bit. This is a dead end, so I should just do it. Um, let's see, let's do the dark net mask. Got it. A hundred rupees. Okay, let's go buy that bottle. I, I have money now. Yes, please. Uh, ooh, a dugong. Want to hear my impression of a dugong? <clears throat> dugong, gong, gong. That was terrible. Probably gonna boop off you like a nap now. Yeah, get that nap, especially after the horrible berry shake and the delicious sauce nuggies. Want to hear mine? True, I'm all ears. <laughs> dugong. That was fabulous. That was the best dugong impression I've ever heard. Love it. Ten out of ten. <laughs> All right, let's get across here. Don't need the fairies right now. All right, where's Bottle Lady? She was around here somewhere. I know it's a staircase. Um, no, it wasn't this room. I want one of Brock's famous jelly donuts. Yeah, that does sound like it would hit the spot right now. Also, Dugong ran away. I got my Cinderella glass slippers. So I think she was around here. Yeah, so it was the staircase. Alright, give me that bottle, lady. You got an empty bottle. Assign it to A, B, X, or Y on the inventory screen. Can be used to store potions, fish, bees, and fairies. <gasps> Let's go steal a fairy. Okay, you can read my fortune now. Oh god, I'm on drugs. I see a piece of broken machinery. Your fate is to make it whole again. I've marked the location on your map. Okay, looks like that's where I have to head to. Stay tuned! Hmm, okay. Interesting. All right, it's almost time for an ad, you guys. A little less than two minutes. Dugong is Dugon. Oh my god, I love that. Not Dugon. You're on a roll today, Ketchup, with the puns. Dugon. Let's let's see if I get another rupee from her pots. Nope. She's broke. 
As am I. As am I. Alright. Oh, not re-deads. Oh, boy. Um, let's do... Stop pumping me! Get off me! Yeah, you got it. Skull of Enchant, weapon, ooh, or scroll. And Berber came in, yes, make a hole. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> make that hole. <laughs> Thank you, I'm practicing puns for when the kids are back. Oh, you'd, you'd be such a fun teacher. Oh my god, I wish my teachers would, would were that fun when I was in school. Do the kids love the puns, the dad jokes, and the puns? Oh, boo. Got it. Okay, got a key. I'm I'm making it. I'm making it through this dungeon, I feel like. Um, okay, that's definitely gonna blow me off if I... Uh, I feel like I would fall. Can I hookshot to the pot somehow? Nope! Yeah, gonna knock me off. Poor Skull Kid. Oh, my glass slipper shattered. I fell and they broke my glass slippers. Yep, bitch. Alright, ad's about to start. You can send me a website of 100 dad jokes. Sorry, 260. Ooh, yes. Jesse loves dad jokes too. That'd be fun. Yes, please and thank you. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, not sure how I'm supposed to get across this room. Can I pick up a pot? No, just break some. Uh, maybe I need boots that make me heavy. It's another Sheikah jukebox. <laughs> um, I'm going to need something to help me traverse across water, it looks like. Let me bring out the hookshot, just in case it helps with anything. <laughs> well, I grabbed something, but I drowned. Oh, okay. Made it across. Alright, I found a checkpoint. Where does this go? Alright, it looks like I'm getting deeper into the dungeon. I'm, okay, heading towards that room. Alright, so, let's see. Let's move you here. Move you there. Okay, there's one. So, so far, in all the campaigns I've done on this game, this is the Zelda-est feeling dungeon. Like, <laughs> I, ju I just made a new word. But yeah, this is the most Zelda feeling dungeon. Because of all the puzzles. 
You posted it in memes? Yes, I'll take a look at it. Yes, it helps you drown to death. <laughs> uh, okay. The hook, that's what the hookshot was good for. Lots of puzzles for sure, yeah. Very puzzly. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, I can't beat the rock to a location because it starts rolling faster. Ugh, I didn't want to do that. Or did I? Hmm. Okay, if I do... I think I got it, actually. I think I... I might have it, actually. Okay, if I do that... Oh, but now... Now this one's not there. Um... Shoot. That's a problem. Now that one's there. Okay. No, don't go that way. No. Oh, I just effed it up. I think I can still get it on there. Okay. Still salvageable. I think. Anyways, nap time. Take care, y'all. All right, Shadow. Enjoy your nap. I'll be over here working my brain. Dang it. Come on. I was on to something. Seems like I can't. I'm trying to get both of this. Okay, let's reset it. All right. So that one's there. No, because... Dang it. My brain. I think I've got it. I can just do this now. Hmm. 
Yay! Scroll of freezing. Okay. Let's go up. Okay, that goes back that way. Writes that. Oh, wait, I'm on the other side of this now. Cool. Okay. So, left is the new path to go. Okay, another one of these lizard frozen areas. to that one now. Okay, this one's a little tougher. Let me reset the room. Because now there's more stuff in the way. Alright, let's try that again. Kill that Lizalfos on the far left. I could. Just cheese it that way. I did not see you down there. There we go. Electric attack. Another one of these. Let's try the dark net mask. Ah, oh, keep taking damage. Hmm. How the hell am I supposed to do this without taking damage? Maybe the Deku mask, maybe if I hide. Uh, okay, I think I'm onto something. Okay. 
Okay, the... This mask is working. Damn it. Stop poking my butt. Arg. Made it pretty far though. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, just need to get back over there. Glad I got that teleport stone. Alright, made it back. Give me arrows and magic potion. Yeah, there has to be a mask that'll help with this. Easier, didn't get hit. That's good. Gouda, Danny. <laughs> Funny enough, I had Gouda with my uh, egg, egg and turkey sandwich this morning. I love smoked Gouda. So good. So Gouda. And you're still on that roll. All right. Let's take care of these moblins. All right, got one charge. Ow, I've been impaled. Yeah, very yummy. We had it on a ciabatta bread. It was the last of the ciabatta bread that we had. Okay, I need one of you big boys to stand on this thing, please. charges. for my troubles. It's down here. Alright, did that. can go right, which is the room actually where that robot should be. Let's see what's up here though. Another one of those. And it's a dead end too. So. Oh, these guys are annoying. How do they expect me to kill these guys? Not sure how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, 
maybe a bomb? You try to perform it to- oh, right. Ran out of stamina. Okay, um... Let's try- I guess let's try a bomb. Okay, I think if I use a combination of a bomb and the Deku mask, maybe that'll kill them. I might not even have to do this room. Yeah, unfortunately they don't give me my bombs back. to launch two ice balls in random directions. I see what all their abilities do. Perform a stabbing attack directly in front of you, dealing massive damage and draining the enemy's health on the next beat. Ah, okay, so that's what that does. Five enemies in your front and sides. Ooh. Okay. Let's try this. them all to go on that side. No, nope, I'm gonna go through all my bombs at that rate. guys are kind of annoying. I kind of don't want to deal with that right now. Maybe I'll find a better item. Synth unpowered. You got the synth, but it doesn't look like it's working right now. It looks like you need to plug it in somewhere first. Okay. So I got what I needed. It looks like that's it for the first floor, actually. There's a... Oh, there's a purple chest in that room. 
room, so I probably get an item once I complete that. I kind of want it. Damn it. This is not going to be an easy dungeon. Yeah, because these purple chests are key items, it looks like. And I need them. I for of, of course they would tie it to this. Okay, so something like that could work. Just keep like sidestepping back and forth. Okay, we still have that item. Ah, uh, almost had it. Okay, I think I have the beat. Ah, uh, almost. Other two guys keep killing it. Hmm. I could just hide maybe after I kill the first two. The Desku scrub. Okay, there you I, I use the stronger attack with L. Lightning arrows and a graveler. You got some lightning arrows. These can be equipped along with your bow on the inventory screen. They imbue your arrows with lightning effect. Yay! Just catch it anyway. Alright, so I think I'm actually done on this floor. There's a purple chest over here I didn't grab. Let me make my way back. Let's warp here. Up and then left twice. Let's put the there we go. Oh. Okay, so it should be right around here. Uh, sure, let's see what else she'll tell me. If she'll tell me anything new. See a possessed machine that you have sto that has stolen your gear. Your fate is to defeat it. I've marked the location on your map. Okay, so she'll tell me where to go pretty much on each floor, it looks like. Which, I mean, eventually I'm going to get to that room anyway. Ah, okay. I need to figure out how to cross this. Might be able to get there from here too. Yeah, I haven't done this room. Oh, I remember the silly snakes. I didn't kill them. Okay, there's one charge. Got it. Stay tuned. I was lucky. All right, and it's almost ad time. A little less than two minutes, and we'll have another ad. Okay, and this will lead to that room. Perfect. What do we got this time? Uh, okay, give those. Let's switch to this one. Oh, man. Okay, that was a lot of give those.
Fusion, freezing. Really? Hmm, maybe the Deku scrub? Oh, and I'm out of magic now. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, ad's about to start. What else could I use? Unfortunately, I'm all out of magic. Unfortunately, that's the only thing I can do is just take them out one by one, kind of. What I could do is just switch. Okay, and then from there I'll switch to you. Ah, uh, okay, with a little more health, I think we can do that. into an enemy space when you defeat them, preventing damage to yourself. Nice. Okay. I'll start with you. Then I'll switch to Dark Nut Mask. Ah. Nice, I got the instant death, but... And there goes my stamina. Ardric! Thanks for the raid! Hey Ardric, hey raiders! Come in! I was, uh, I was lurking a little bit in your stream. How'd it go? I saw you playing Zelda too, you were playing Link to the Past. Let's not get into Sims of the Welcome in Raiders! Other side of the sun. Wouldn't the gravitational field just up? <laughs> that was a lot of reading. Yay, hey, Sass, how's it going? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome in, Ardric. Welcome in, Raiders. Hey, Sass. Thank you for the Ardric raid. Let's go to chat. Doing good. How are you guys doing? How are y'all doing? Oh, let me stretch a little bit. Thank you so much for that raid, Ardric. Let's go to chat. Oh, welcome in, you guys. I'm uh, celebrating my stream anniversary today, three year stream anniversary. 
Um, I would have done something on the weekend, but we already have a birthday stream planned for Saturday. So I was like, well, let's just celebrate the stream anniversary today. I uh, love Zelda games. Link to the Past is going pretty well, but I played it before. Link to the Past, though, is a classic. It is, honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the best Zelda games. I, I always say Link to the Past and uh, Link's Awakening are very, like, close to each other in, like, the, the best 2D Zelda category, I feel like. Those are two great, uh, classic feeling Zelda games. Um, speaking of Zelda, I'm playing Cadence of Hyrule, uh, Crypt of the Necromancer, featuring The Legend of Zelda. And this temple has been pretty puzzle-based, so it does feel very Zelda-like. Congrats, thank you, and thank you again for the raid. Um, you guys, please, if you're not following Ardrick, please go send them a follow, go like their content, go watch their stream, send them some love, tell them the bear sent ya. And if anyone's new here, I'm Danny Bear, one half of the pair of bears. Sometimes I'll stream on my own, sometimes I'll stream with the hubby. Usually we play co-op or retro games together. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the vibe here and welcome in. Uh, how's Cadence of Hyrule? It's pretty dang challenging. Um, but once you, once you find the rhythm, no pun intended, but pun intended, it's a fun game. It's, uh, it just takes a little getting used to, I will say that. Like, I'm playing the final DLC, so I'm kind of used to the game already. Although this one's pretty damn tough. Um, this DLC. But, um, once you get, like, if you're trying out the game and you feel like you're not getting the hang of it just like give it a little more time i would say it takes an hour maybe a couple hours to get the hang of it um all right so i'm in the middle of a temple i'm trying to find these three pieces of a robot it looks like um because this thing stole all my gear at the beginning of the temple so let's head on back <laughs> So yeah, if you guys never played this game, um, pretty much you have to do everything to the beat of the music, like moving, attacking, defending, all that. Um, currently trying to kill this room full of Gibdos. Let me see. Start with, and I'm playing a Skull Kid. This is the final DLC. You get to play a Skull Kid, so you get access to a bunch of different masks. Um, let's start with. Actually, I was doing fine with the Darknet, I think. I'm just out of stamina now. Uh, hmm. I wish there was a way to recharge your stamina instead of having to, like, you know, spend po money on potions. Um, maybe the Zora Mask. Let's see how much damage it does. It's decent damage. So with these kind of puzzles, I can't miss the beat at all, and have to defeat all the enemies without missing the beat or getting attacked. So it does attack pretty fast. Okay, so let me get them in a group and then I can use the Dark Net Mask to attack them. Oh, I missed the beat, man. It's weird, that has a broad attack radius, but it doesn't do much damage. Ugh. What? Really? Oof, I've only got one heart left. So he's doing this dash that I'm not liking. Is it because of this ring? Okay, let's try it now. Uh, I have played Crypt of the Necromancer a little, and I want to check out this one sometime. Yeah, if you're a fan of Zelda, I definitely recommend it. The remixes alone are worth the price of admission. Alright, then switch back to that. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I, I was close. I think with, yeah, with more of my stamina, I should be able to do that. I just need to make sure to use it and abuse it and get it right the first time. Because once my stamina is out, I can't do much except for picking up a stamina potion somewhere. So I did all these rooms already. 
think that's that ring and I kind of don't want it. Well, eh, let's pick it up. Okay, let's try this again. I think the strategy I was doing was working out. What? Really? Ah, uh, I dropped the beam. Okay, let's try this now. Ah, oh, man! I'm, okay, I got close. Do I have any bombs? No, I only have a bomb chew. Hmm. Uh, any of these scrolls would help. Scroll of freezing. Confusion. Some temporarily gives your attacks an electric effect. Some one use only, that's a bad thing. Damage dealt by one. That could help, but again, like if I drop the B, it's, it's, it's a waste. Uh. Okay, I think I'm better off picking at them maybe one by one. way too many of them uh we've got a woobat or er, swoobat sorry oh i don't have one filling out that pokedex today all right so Try here. Switch to you. Ah, oh, man! I oh, oh, I was so close, so close. Uh, I need magic now. I think I saw a potion around here. I really don't want to buy that. Here we go. Full of stamina. Does that respawn? Oh, it does. Okay, there we go. Okay, I could do that. I didn't know that pot respawned each time. So I could just cheese it that way. Okay, let's just go ham then. So, let's start off with the Zora Mask again. Okay, and then we'll switch to the Dark Knight. Oh, he hit me. Okay, I'm feeling the rhythm there. So I, I, I pretty much got it. I just need to not get hit. Eep. As I get hit. And group them together a little bit if I can. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, I want to get them all grouped up together as much as I can so I can do that big swipe. Okay, two left. Oh, you jerk! Man, I was so close. If I could have got them together, I could have done it. All right. It's exciting though. Almost got it. Let's see. 
Ah, oh, shoot. Well, oh, let me go get some stamina again. Ubu bat. And let's see, looks like Sass caught it. Good job, Sass. Dang, so the rest of us didn't catch it, and I needed that swoo bat. Oh, well, next time. Alright, let's try this again. Let me start with the skull mask, see if that would help. That might be better. Okay, and then dark knight. Ugh. Stamina. Okay. At least this room's not too far away. Alright, let's try that again. I do have a key, actually. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Huh, I could just open this room and skip this. I don't think I need to go that way. Rito Feather, you got the Rito Feather. Assign it to A, B, X, or Y on the inventory screen. Using this will let you jump into the air, potentially avoiding enemy attacks. Try using it with down thrust. Okay, so it works pretty much like the rocks weather. Unfortunately, it does waste stamina, too. Uh, I kind of want to see what's going that way. But I also kind of want to finish this dungeon, I'm not going to lie. Let's try a couple more times. Got instant up there, that's cool. Ah. I think I should just... I might not even need to go that way. But I gotta know what's in those other rooms. Oops. Alright. Maybe I should go about this differently. What else do I got? Hmm. Okay, one left. Got it, finally. Freezing, what's over here? Really? They put another room like this? Please, well, hopefully be easier enemies. It's a blue chest. Okay, easier enemies, but, well... Hmm. 
Oh, that's pretty dang crazy. Uh. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ask. Uh, I had I had something going. Dang it. Ah. Really? Wow. They are not being forgiving with this. King? Yo, yeah, oh, this boy, you better get him. Hey, Bear, big hugs. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? We do. Welcome in. What do you do? What you do? Week's going good. Yeah, not bad for a Monday. Ooh, he got it. <laughs> Goodbye. What game is this? There you go. How are you doing? was one enemy left and he was on the bottom left. Pew pew. Dang it. Oh man, okay. I got the map after all this time all right looks like I looked through every room on this floor um, I like chicken alfredo pasta and my fave game you played was Zelda oh glad to hear it I love Zelda so I love playing it <laughs> of course of course hope your week's going good too yeah, question of the day is up, you guys. Let me know if you like, if you prefer rice, pasta, or bread. And bonus question, if you remember your favorite stream you've seen us play since it is our third year stream anniversary, let me know. Uh, okay, so... Oh, you're turning it off? All right, babe. Uh, how much time do I have? Okay, I'm still kind of good on time, actually. So, and it's a pretty quick dinner tonight. I'm just reheating leftovers, so... Hopefully I can finish this dungeon. I think I'm pretty confident I can. It's just been a pretty challenging one. Danny will never guess what my favorite game he played is. <laughs> hmm. I was actually trying to guess which Pikmin game, but then I'm like, wait, I technically have only streamed one Pikmin game, so I've got to fix that. Um, and it works out because I haven't, I haven't even touched the Pikmin 1 plus 2 collection, so... There's that, and I also wanted to stream Pikmin 3. I don't know if Jesse would be interested in co-oping that with me, but if not, I could play it by myself just fine. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the second floor. So now I'm back here. Do I need a shovel for this or something? I'm not sure what I need to get up there. Glass slippers, okay. So there's all these gray rooms I haven't explored yet. There's a fairy room over there. I should get a 
fairy in a bottle. Move over, Christina Aguilera. We don't need genies in a bottle. We need fairies in a bottle. Alright. So, let's put the loot. Okay. So, where's that map? Let's head left and then down. Finally getting the rhythm of this dungeon, though it's still pretty tough. What is that? Um, interesting. This is one of those rooms where there's like a hidden floor, but I can't see it. Okay, so I can hookshot to that thing and my glass slippers just shattered, yay. Um, the problem is... I fall right after. I can't hold on or anything. Interesting. Do I get this thing to move somehow? Yeah, I don't know. I keep falling. Okay. Does that connect to any other room? The fairy fountain. Let's see. Out of my way, fairy. I don't want to grab you right now. Need key. I thought I had a key. Okay. I guess I'll just come back when I get a key. Alright, so let's head left. Can I cross this yet? Can't hook shot to that. Ah, dang it. Quillfish. Oh, question of the day. I don't know how to choose. I like all grains and all carbs. Good answer. Who doesn't love the carbs? Get all those carbs. And you always like Zelda games? Me too. Zelda's always been my favorite gaming franchise, and I love it very much. Okay, I can't hookshot to the pot, unfortunately. I'll take that potion. Hmm. How do they expect me to get across this? Oh, I couldn't... Well, to be fair, I just got the hookshot, so... Alright. I can hookshot to the Sheikah Stone, so that works. Or the Sheikah Jukebox. Whatever you want to call it. Um, let's go up. Let's head to that room. Why can't I kill you? Okay, Mr. Undestructible Slime, why aren't you dying? And he's just standing there, menacingly. Interesting. Uh, good job, Ketchup. You caught the clothes. I'm poking him with a stick and nothing's happening. Arrows don't work. Let's try electric arrows. Nothing. Maybe a bomb would work, but this is my last bomb. Get out of there, Sponge- Get out of there, SpongeBob! <laughs> okay, that did nothing. What the hell am I supposed to do to you? Stay tuned! Oh, it's already almost that time. Okay, the down thrust does nothing. Out of stamina. How am I supposed to murder you? Okay, I got the instant death on it. I don't know if it was just because I kept getting beats on it or it was the instant death, but either way, I killed it. So, yay. 
All right, it's almost ad time. <laughs> I know carbs are so good. I will say pasta is my favorite of the three though. The bread's a close second. And I mean, rice is really good too, especially sushi. Um, I still don't see a way up here. I'm, I'm guessing I get the Rod of Samaria soon. I think that's how you pronounce that. Alright, let's kill these Wizros. Alright, cool. Um, what's the deal with this room? Is there a chest here? There is. And a staircase, actually. Oh, well, the staircase is right there. And uh, not sure why, how I'm supposed to make the chest appear. Like, I know I can hookshot to that, but what's the point? Hmm. Don't have a torch either. Okay, so here's a puzzle. And this is a dead end otherwise, so let's get that puzzle. Maybe I'll get a key or something. All right, so let's put one of you there. All right, I already see a way to get this first switch. Okay, yay for that one, but how do I get this one now? guide you around somehow. Okay, something like that. I just need something in its way. Damn it. I think I have to get that one activated first, actually. Hmm. This might work. Let's see. Let's try this. Ah! Okay, I'll leave that one there then. Oh, I can't get it out if I do that. Um... Get you over there. It's not gonna work. <laughs> All right, ads over. I'll come back now. I think my brain's tired. I've been doing these almost since the beginning of the stream. This temple's been pretty long. Um, okay. I can figure this out. Like this, I feel like this one's stuck here now. 
Yeah, I need to get this boulder out of here because I need both of them down there now. Uh, hmm. Stuck here now. Dang it. Uh... I might have messed that up. Okay, so they're... Okay, cool. So... This might work now. Sometimes you just gotta play around and find it that way. Ah, close. Let's do this. Okay, I think I got it. Gotcha. Perfect. Alright. Left. Best viewers? You know what? I have the best viewers. Goodbye. Back in this room? Interesting. Um, hmm, it's a dead end. <laughs> you heard that catch up. Wait, why didn't he stay dead? I killed him. Come on, give me to death. I'm poking him. I'm not getting death. There we go. Um, okay, maybe if I go down and then left. Okay. Let's see if I can go up from No, I can't. I need to figure out how to get over these walls. I doubt the rock's feather can get me over it, but let's try it. Nope. Um, hmm. Yeah, I must be getting that cane somewhere in this dungeon. Okay, haven't done this room yet. Let's do it. 
There's a purple chest I didn't grab over there. Maybe I should go back. Oh, that's the one I need a key for, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Okay. And there should be a key in a red chest somewhere. defense well I guess I could use it um, I need a key though what do we got Puchiana seen these before. Uh, okay, I killed- oh, I, maybe I had 12 seconds to- I got so lucky! I think I had 12 seconds to kill that big enemy. It was like a tougher Gibdo. And I instantly on the first attack, my- because this staff has a chance, a small chance of causing death. So I got the death status of it right away. Oh, Sass, thank you for the Poke Gifts! For casual. That was pretty lucky though. Alright, let's try this room. Okay, so these snakes. I can do that. That one was easy. Happy about that. Torch of Wisdom. Uh, this looks strange. This is the first time I've seen this. The heck am I supposed to do here? And Puchiana escaped. How rude, Puchiana. Very rude. Should be ashamed. Um. This is weird. I think I'm just supposed to use it from that side. Okay, well there's no chest or anything in here. Alright. Guess I'll make my way back. Let's teleport. You know what, I think I remember she had a key in her shop. Maybe I should just buy a key from her. That old woman. I think I do have enough money for it. <sighs> I think it was on the first floor. I think that's her shop right there, actually. It should be around here somewhere. Where was it? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Thanks, casual. Oops, I'll be drowning. I think she was around here. I think it's this room over here. Two rupees, I'll take that. Uh, that's not it. Is she gone? What the heck? No, it should have been around here. Or was she the third floor? <sighs> Maybe it was the third floor. Um, but where? No, I'm pretty sure it was the first floor. Now I'm all confused. It smells something good though. Oh, you know what? It was next to the fairy fountain, I remember. I think it was... So it's... Gotta be around here. I think. Huh? Everything okay? The door open? You didn't open it? Okay, that was weird. Hold on, guys. Doors are opening on their own. <laughs> okay. I'm a little creeped out because I couldn't swear I saw your heart open the door on our bed. Um, okay. Uh, that sounds creepy. Maybe, maybe I thought I saw someone's arm open it. Hopefully. Uh, because otherwise, that's pretty scary. I could have just imagined it. The door did open. Anywho. <laughs> Unless Jesse's playing jokes on me. Let's see. Where was her shop? Is that it right there? It might be what that icon is. Okay, let's try going that way. And then go right. Up. There we go. I could have sworn she had a key in here. Where's that other shop? I know there was a th another one. Okay, I am a little lost now. Guess I'll just. Oh! Actually, it should be this room. How do I get over there? Okay, so there was a staircase that led me there. Why does it show a staircase around here? Is it this one? So weird. So maybe from this room. Casual. Thanks for the raid. Let's go to chat. I'm back, 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 back again. Welcome back. Hey, Casual, let's get you another shout out here. You guys, please go follow the Casual Gaming. I was almost going to say Casual Gaming Guy, but no, he has rebranded. Now he is Casual Gaming. 
That King Boo, that King Boo avatar came out so cute. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? Why did it shout out my? Okay. What the hell? You was a sleepy boy, oh. Okay, that was weird. It shouted out Sorry, our channel. That's not how you say that. Pokemon, a uh, new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> That's not how you say that. That was a short clip. Let's watch another one. How'd stream go? Use a tired from the sounds of it. Well, how about we clear some more of this dirt out of the way, man? <laughs> Casual's voices, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, you guys go send Casual some love here. Welcome in everybody, welcome in Raiders. I'm playing some Cadence of Hyrule, celebrating our three year stream anniversary. Um, I've been stuck in this dungeon the whole stream. It's been a pretty long dungeon. Uh, trying to find a damn key because I need a key to progress. But uh, welcome in, you guys. I'm a variety streamer. I play a lot of different games. Uh, sometimes I'll stream with the hubby and we'll do co op games or retro games. So welcome in, you guys. Uh, you were nodding off. This was um, with help from a modifier. You're on lag? Lag? Why all the lag? Okay, there we go. That might fix it. Alright, you guys. Let's go ahead and see if I can finish this dungeon. At this point, though, is it a fungeon? I don't know. Alright. How did I... I came into this room before, it looks like. From here. Okay, I guess let me just retrace my steps a little bit here. Let's warp here. Alright, so we'll go up. Oh, this is like the beginning of the dungeon almost. Go here. Alright, and then up. I'm doing the final DLC for this game, playing a Skull Kid. Did I ever interact with that diamond? I wonder if I could shoot it with an arrow. No, I have to get up there somehow. Oops. Okay. There's that shop. I could have... Oh, wait. There must be another one. Or not. Um, should I just buy the big bomb bag? Oh, I don't even have enough for that. Okay, um, hmm. Alright, where are we? Okay, I'm on the floor I need to be. Let's kill these guys. Let's light these torches, see if that does anything. Interesting, so by the time I move... Wait a minute. The way this thing has a bunch of... Let me see. I... Okay. I had a freaking feeling. It has all those holes so an arrow comes out the other side. Okay. Back to my lurk while I close things out, etc. Alright, Casual. Thanks again for the raid. Really do appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so... I only have a little bit of this torch left, so... Let's put one above this torch. Okay, so it's gonna shoot to the left. Interesting. Why? Why is it shooting to the left though? Okay, then it's like this one. I've only got so many arrows, so I need to be careful. Uh, shoot. Okay, this isn't gonna work the way I want it to. Sweet Jesus, really? 
The, I hate- okay, this dungeon has a lot of puzzles, and I'm starting to be like, okay, that's, a, that's enough puzzles, thank you. No more, please. And so I have the map, I have this dang computer, they want me to go into this room, I think. shoots to the right. Okay, and that... This is annoying. So what if I do that? And you really want me to light possibly all these with one arrow, somehow. I almost want to just look up the solution because uh, my brain has had enough. All right, so it's it's a red chest anyway, so it, I don't think it'll be anything like great, like, unless it's a dang key. There's a purple chest on the third floor I didn't grab. Or second floor. No, yeah, third floor. Ah, let's check this out. Something here, too. Oh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. It's a Nuzleaf. Um, put that way. Okay, those were those rupees I got earlier. I can buy that bomb bag now if I want to. Huh, I never did this one? Where does that go? Well, I haven't been in there, so let's do it. That's right, it was these guys. I did not mean to use that. Almost, I was so close. Oh, I got the nest leaf though. Oh, 
Oh, come on, you jerk. Oh, I was so close. There's only one enemy left, come on. Well, Amazon sent me an empty sealed package with nothing in it, I had to get in chat. Oh no, they did that to me one time too. It was when we barely moved in and I thought someone stole our package, but our neighbors, because we didn't have one installed yet, our neighbors had the ring camera and they looked for us and literally the box came like that. So I had to contact Amazon about that. I don't know if anyone got fired over it, but literally our, our stuff inside was missing. Yeah, it, I think it's only happened to me maybe twice ever, like in my life. In all your years, it's never happened. Unfortunately, an ad is about to start. So sorry about that. Oh, come on. Oh, I had to use my fairy. Okay. That one took patience. Bombs. Like, see, I'm, I'm getting, like, stuff I don't need. Okay, let's kill these guys. Uh, well, it wasn't super important, but still, just some treatment for my yard. It's still annoying, though, like, especially when you're waiting for something. Okay, so these guys spawn faster. I need to kill them faster. Got it. Finally, a key. I needed a key. Thank you. Um, so that unlocks that room. I kind of don't want to use it on that, though. A blue chest. I don't remember what's usually in those. Compass. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, see, like, I could use my key there, but I know I need it for a much more important room. Um. Let's go. That's locked, too. All right, let's just go to the second floor because I need to get that open. Let's see, so there was a locked door that led into this room, I believe. Um, let's see. Oh, but yeah, sorry, ad's over, so now you can hear me, Rose. Um, yeah, it sucks that, like, yeah, you know, maybe it's not something important, important, but like, it sucks that you were waiting for something and then, you know, it just doesn't arrive. I, I, I'm thinking sometimes the Amazon employees steal it. I don't know if that's what happened in this case, but I feel like when the, there's something missing in there, it either happens in the warehouse or when it's getting delivered. Okay, so... Can't get in from there, can't get in from there. I'm thinking I do need that wand of Samaria or whatever. I just can't figure out where it would be. Um, okay, maybe if I go back to that room, 
It's the only other way I can see getting in there. Oh, that's right. That's that room. Ah. I don't know any other way in there. This is so weird. Is there like a room with a purple chest that I... Yeah, this fairy fountain. I think that's my best bet, maybe. Let's go this way. I'm sorry you guys, I have to take a little bathroom break here. Nature calls. I'll be right back though. It'll be quick. Alright. Plus I can't think <laughs> when my bladder is full. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. What was so funny? What clip was it? Alright. I'm ready. Let's kick this dungeon's ass. I'm ready to say bye to this dungeon. There's only two dungeons in this campaign, but I see why there's only two. <clears throat> so, let's see. I am where? I am right there. Um, right, I was going to make my way down there. I bet this is the short one. Oh my gosh, don't say that. Oh no. Like, I really don't want to complete these rooms, but I'm pretty sure, like, what if they have keys to, like... I might just look up the solution for that arrow one, because that, that looks annoying to me. Like, I don't want to figure that one out. I need to figure out a way to get back across here. Oh, maybe from the third floor, yeah, that might help. Okay, so from here. Might as well capture this fairy because I already used one. Come here, you. Get in my bottle. Come on, I'm gonna keep swiping like this, and if you get captured, it's your own fault. You! You bitch. Whatever. Whatever, fairy. That's why you never trust the fairy. Waste of a fairy. Okay, so the boomerang's in there. Hmm. Kind of want that. So, whatever vision I have, I can see what's inside the chests. That's both good and. Well, it's mostly good, actually. I don't really need the boomerang though. I think I need what's ever in that other room more. Cause there's a purple, how many purple chests are left? One, which is the room I'm in. 
pretty much got everything in this floor except for that red chest in the corner. Might be rupees. So there's two purple chests. Let me look up if the Cana Samaria is in this dungeon. Because if so, I should go for the other purple chest. Um, let me see. I need to charge my AirPods for work. I'll do that now. they let us listen to music at work and if I don't have my music the day drags so you also see my mom called me let me check if everything's okay I got a voicemail oops up this dungeon real quick to see if the cane is in here oh let me close that too hate lurking on myself um what was the name of this place i forgot temple of confusion i can't remember now dang it Temple of Brainstorms, there we go. Okay, so I think I do get the cane of Samaria. So I should go I should go to this chest. So on that note, let's go. Yeah, because those, those are the only two purple chests left. Let's go here. And while the boomerang's cool and all, it's kinda not necessary I feel like the hook shot does the boomerangs job somewhat um let's buy this big bomb bag all right so let me go Stairs, forget that. Um, let me go left. There, yep, the cane of Samaria. How am I supposed to get over there? Okay, there's a gotcha. So from the other side, and I can use the key. Can I just hook shot? Oh, perfect! Huzzah! Finally! Okay, let's see what's in here. Big empty room. I just used the key for nothing. Okay, on the bright side though, now that I have that cane of Samaria, I should be able to access areas I couldn't access before. means I can finally probably get out of here hopefully um okay so let's go so this works the way I think it's gonna work first you 
die. Thank you. Okay, Kane, where are you? Oh no, come on, why can't I step on it? Ugh, okay. How do I get over there? Damn it. Okay. I need to get in that room already. in the way. <laughs> and now I'm out of stamina. Great. Okay, I'm back to being lost. <laughs> Rose, a little late, but you still made it. Huh, I didn't do this one. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, come on. I was a little impatient there. A golden shovel, okay, take that. That's the boomerang. Hmm. Oh man, I'm honestly kind of lost now on where, or how I'm supposed to get into that room. I should have everything I need to get in there. Usually go make dinner at this time, so usually a lurky raider. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Hmm. Can I push these apart somehow? I did the birthday command for you, Rose, before I ended. <laughs> Wait, Rose, is it your birthday today? I, yeah, that's right. Your birthday, mine, and casual are pretty close to each other. So is it today? Or is it tomorrow, since casual said it won't be? Oh, okay. Wait. Cages is today. Oh, okay. Shoot. Hold on, you guys. I'm getting a phone call.
All right, sorry about that, you guys. My parents called me earlier and um, need to return that call. Um, so my mom wanted to cook me something special for my birthday, so I'll be stopping by there, uh, possibly during the week. Okay, Kaja's today, Rose's tomorrow, gotcha. All right, I'll take a mental note for tomorrow. Taking a personal call at work, I'm going to the manager. <laughs> Okay, my phone is sassy. I'm kidding, though. <laughs> Jesse, I need to talk to you about your employee's etiquette. <laughs> He's on the phone during work hours. How the heck am I supposed to... Uh, this, this, is, this dungeon's... Okay, this dungeon's testing me. How am I supposed to get over there? I do I do not understand. Can I hook shot to that? Oh, okay. I figured it out. Yay. I don't By like accident. <laughs> well, you know what, Yuna? It got me across, okay? Okay. Accidentally, but I got across. Finally. I Okay. I think I'm getting somewhere, you guys. It's been 84 years, but I think I finally got somewhere. Okay, stairs, let's take them. Uh, what is this? Computer, do your do your thing. Why does it look so angry? Ho, ho, ho! Oh, Kume and Kotake, why are they digitized? This is a cute cameo, though. Ha ha ha! Good job, intruder! You have exceeded expectations by making it this far. Your reward is to die honorably at our hands. Congratulations! Oh, thank you. What, what a great reward. Hehehe! <laughs> Synthrova. Instead of twin rova, it's Synthrova. They're in a synthesizer. Oh my gosh. The puns. <laughs> This dungeon has I just testies. saved you from Ganon. You did not. I, I won. won. Well, time to time to fight the Synthrova. Oh god, what's happening? Okay, so I just got to kill more enemies on on these Sasha. Yep. Only a few of them are active. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, that burns. Ooh. There's a cream for that. Really? Oh, the beat dropped. What the hell? Now it's speeding up. What is this? No, you can't do this. So I have to activate the electric wire before they switch to the next one. Great. And I'm already on low on health. Uh, they were right about the death part. Well, this is gonna be fun. Go go daddy. This is go go to death. Go to hell. Okay, time to kick these witches ass. Of course, now cat wants up on my lap. Oh. Okay. Gotta do it for the cat. Also, well, why not? Why not catch it? Do I have a cherish ball? I would love a wine yet. Shiny, why not? Oh, I do. Okay. Maybe Amber will buy you subs. Yes, all the subs. Press the wrong button. Do it. Oh, 
Okay, got one of those. Okay, so I see, I, I damaged that wire. Perfect. Okay, so I gotta damage all of them. This is giving me like Scott Pilgrim vibes for some reason. Jesus. There's a lot to keep track of. Really? Like, by the time the enemies walk over here, they switch the wire. See? I'm getting hearts. Oh, stop pumping me. Hold on. Stay tuned. Damn it. Alright, it's almost ad time. Whoa. Looks like I damaged two wires already. Get over here. Okay, got three. Yes! I killed uh, Kume or Kotake. I think that's Kotake. One sister to go. Okay, one more wire, I think. Oh, eat that, you bitch. You digital bitches. Ooh, I get to choose one. I will take the... Well, actually, I got most of these weapons from the dungeon. Unless they're not letting me keep them. They're not. They took them away. <sighs> Between the bow and arrow and a bottle. I kind of want to keep the bottle. Oh, okay, I get to choose one for each sister. Then that's an easy choice. Bottle and bow. Let's take the heart container. Oh my god, that dungeon was so long. GG, thank you. Thank you, guys. That dungeon... Ba -ba 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 -ba. You got the synth. I don't know what it does. You got the synth. You can feel magical aura when you hold it. This may help you stop Ganon. Or may not. Whatever. Alright, I've got 30 minutes or so, so might as well start trying to find the next dungeon. And it looks like we're stuck in an ad now. Let's see, there's two more masks I haven't found. There's gotta be in this area over here. There's a square over here I haven't explored. I'm guessing the dungeon's around this area somewhere. Okay, let me teleport 
here. Hi, gay. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. I don't know why. It just scared me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what are you, Zelda, now? <laughs> Uh, let's see. How do I get over there? Get these balls away from my face. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get over there. Down here. Maybe from here. Oh, I need that part. All right, now it's over. What did I what unlocked? I heard the bada bada bada. Oh, I need a walk oh my health. Yay death. I wanna see what's in that corner. Uh let me switch. I did not mean to do that. Okay, this bomb problem needs to go. Might be something special in here. Jesus. Okay, if I. La 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 la. Um. I'll worry about that later. Uh. 
Let's see. Let me check what these squares are over here. Dang it, it's so close yet so far. Hmm, I probably have to push that one up here. Okay. Okay, made it to Gerudo Village, so the next dungeon should be in the area. Let me just find a Sheikah Slate. Skull Kid, you must conquer the Gerudo Arena. Use the power of the Skull Mask to fight your way through. Make sure you're well prepared if you're heading into the arena. The shop behind me sells potions if you have a bottle to hold them. I do now. So it sounds like it's going to be a more combat-based temple. I'm not officially the leader of the Gerudo anymore. Now that Prince Ganondorf has come of age, Gerudo tradition states that we must obey him. The sucky tradition. Because that old Ganon is a jerk. Oh, I don't have the hookshot anymore. <laughs> Darn, not another puzzle dungeon. No, don't say that. Don't say that. There we go. Sheikah Slate. Howdy there, traveler. You've made it to Gerudo Village, home of the famous Gerudo Arena. Is it that famous? Gerudo Arena! Okay, so this is definitely what I'm gonna... I'm not gonna have time to do it today, but I'll definitely do it next time. Um, let's see... Pretty sure it's gonna be tough too, but more combat based. Nice cock! <laughs> nice cock! There are five floors of enemies to get through before reaching... Okay. Must be completed in one run from bottom to top, completing the arena and taking talking to the guard on the entry floor. Let's just try it at least to see how tough it's gonna be, I guess. But oof, it has to be completed in one run. Um, okay. Lalit. <laughs> Arjik! <laughs> This is the Gerudo Arena. Travelers come from far and wide trying to make a name for themselves. I'm gonna enter the arena soon, just waiting for these wounds to heal. I got hit in the back by a Bakoblin last time. Party. Oh, 
Okay, it's it's begun. Um, let's do. What the hell is that? Oh god. Oh god, there's a lot of enemies. Uh, dude, they can kill each other too? Okay, a little more of that, please. Damn it, that enemy. Cool. Get away from me. Okay, Wizard's the only one left. Oh, you jerk. You had to get that last hit in, didn't you? So it's five floors of this, and I can't die at all. so low on health. Jesus. Yeah, blow them up. Blow them up. Oh god, I'm getting... I got cornered. Damn it. I hate those enemies, they're so annoying. Ugh, okay, this is pretty tough. Let's see. Rose, man. Attack the wizard. I got death on it. No, unfortunately, I only have one and a half hearts this time. Well, shit. And I definitely need to be using potions for this. Yeah, 
No, get away from that heart. I need it. Thank you. And poke you with the stick. Oh, thank you, more hearts. Okay, I think this is when I should use my other mask. Nice, the spikes got him. Yeah, I should use these traps to my advantage. Bombs could help too. All right, floor three. Damn it, Dark Nuts. Following me. You jerk. All right, kill them. Jesus. All right, the dark nuts are definitely the most annoying part of this. Arg. Well, that was better than the first time. Yeep. This is going to be tough. See how much the potions cost. Oh no. <laughs> Very much oh no. So much oh no. <laughs> 80 rupees. Um, I'm going to need a lot of cash for that. I think I'm better off finding like an area with fairies in it. I wonder if I could just go to Dungeon 2 and go back to that fairy fountain in there and catch more fairies. Hmm. Alright, let's see what time it is. It's about to be 6.30 pretty much. I'll give it another try. Maybe I'll get lucky. All right, um, let's see. Why does it sound like the X-Men Evolution opening? Up? No more wizarding. Okay, you ugly bitch. Turn around.
<laughs> Cuties. Stop chasing me. Keep off. yourself, please. Damn, get those. Oh, yeah. Blow your friends up. Come on. Yes. Blow your friends? <laughs> I mean, blow up your friends. Oh my god. Did, did I really say blow your... Well, I stand by what I said. If you can't blow your friends, who are you going to blow? <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I meant to say blow up your friends. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, both work. If you can't blow your friends, who are you going to blow? Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. I love you guys. Oh my god. Blow your friends. That's that if it's anything we can take away from this stream is that. Blow your friends. So this is very much less like a dungeon and more like a, a, a series of battles. No, don't blow up! Oh! I've got half a heart. I need hearts. I need hearts, not bombs. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, it seems like I can get to the third floor okay, but that's where I start dying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this next time. This is, this is looking pretty tough, but I feel like it's more manageable than that puzzly dungeon I did. It's just gonna, maybe on my off days, I'll go look for some heart pieces and see if I can find some cash to buy some potions. Maybe I'll find another bottle. Who knows? Um, still not as bad as the Reverend yesterday saying, are you vacuums ready? Take them out and get ready. Or are your vacuums ready? Take them out, get ready to suck. When trying to make a Ghostbusters reference. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. Um, but I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for today, you guys. I'm gonna go get ready, have dinner. Hang out with the hubby for work before work. Um, maybe give him some extra kisses because he literally just surprised me with a birthday present. He bought me a new TV. I've had this TV. This is a hand-me-down TV. I've had this TV for, I want to say, seven or eight years now. It's not even a smart TV. And he bought me a freaking 4K smart TV, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go send him some love because I feel like that was very sweet of him. Um, he didn't need to surprise me with that, so let's go ahead and head on out of here, you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining.